Hello people, this is Retro Steve UK, and I thought it was about time I did a tour of Castle Retro, which is one of the projects I've been working on for ages on uh, the Angry Porcupines Minecraft server. So I'm going to just head down there now, I'm coming out of my farmhouse here. There's the uh, castle from the front, we're currently at the spawn point area. I'm going to try and keep this video fairly brief because there's, uh, there's a fair amount to look at in here. Got a few market stalls in the courtyard. I haven't decided what entirely to do with the courtyard yet. Um, I put a well here which you can draw water from. I wanted to do like a bucket that goes down on a, on a rope. That's as close as I could get to that. So <laughs> that's that. You can go in there and come back up again, but I'm not going to waste time right now and, uh, and do that. Yeah, put um, you know like a space invader on the front in green glass castle retro. Um, you know what are you going to do? Yeah, a few bits and bobs for sale in the market stall for anybody who wants to buy uh, perhaps some of the rarer things that I've been out of finding find and making the game. This is the main foyer. I've got sweeping staircases going up and around, as you can see. Uh, I'll just uh, take a quick walk up there. So these sweeping staircases go around. You can also get up to this bit by using the... Um, uh, there are like towers in each corner of the castle with a spiral staircase. I might go up one of those in a minute. So uh, up above the foyer here, uh, you've got some balconies that you can look out over the courtyard and you can see the spawn area and over into the distance. Yeah, there's two of those up here. As I've said before on, on previous video, shop, sorry about the uh, choppy frame rate and, uh, and what have you. It's just that my laptop can't cope with um, sort of streaming and running Minecraft at the same time. So yeah, this is the dormitory, which is at the uh, main entrance above the, um, the foyer down there. Uh, anybody on this server can come in here and claim a bed and there's already been a couple claimed over there. Uh, this is my one. Um, I'll do Through here is a chapel but I'll get to that a bit later because um, there are various different ways you can access the different parts of the castle. What I'll do for now is I'll come back around the front. We'll, as I said, we'll go up one of these um, sort of corner towers in a, in a little while. There's one in each corner of the castle. So around here, up on the first floor here, there's a couple of unfinished bits that I'm still working on. I've got a prison here. I did manage to get a zombie in here, but it kind of despawned, so um, that was left pointless. Oh, one thing I did want to show you is uh, I've put um, something here. Like There's basically an item frame with a lever in it, and I want that to be like a key. So you pick up, pick up the key. Now I'm going to just uh, move that around in my inventory. Yeah, so the idea of that is that you pick up the key, stick the key on the wall, and open up the uh, prison. So there we go. <laughs> uh, I'll just leave that on there for now. No, no, I'll put the I'll put the key back. So you get the key back off the wall, stick it back on the hook, so to speak. There we go. Right. So over here, this is unfinished. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm planning to do some sort of bar room or club in here, possibly with a lit up dance floor. Might even put poles in the corners for, for pole dancing. <laughs> I'm quite sure how that'll work, but I'll, I'll make it up as I go along. A little bit up there you can climb up to, um, which I haven't, again, I haven't decided what to do with that yet. But uh, those are really the only unfinished bits in the castle. Around here, this is the dormitory, the other end. Um, we Obviously, we came in from the, uh, the entrance over there. I've said in other videos as well, this, this uh, server, Angry, Por Angry Porcupines, contains a couple of mods. There's a chairs mod which allows you to sit down. Uh, that's uh, something you don't normally get in Minecraft, but you know what, I'm sure you know what mods are. Uh, the chapel, with various chairs for sitting down and uh, praying, if that's the sort of thing. And uh, you can stand back here and give a sermon. <laughs> Uh, got vestry here. Vestry is like one of those rooms that um, they have in churches where, like, the vicar or the, the priest goes and like does all his studies and whatever. Um, I put a, a book and a quill in there just to make it look a bit like a, a study. Yeah, nothing um, overly major, but you know, just nice little touches I like to put in. Okay, through still on the first floor here. Through here we have a gallery. Um, I've made this like almost like uh, when you come to visit a museum or something. But the gallery, basically, I've put various paintings around, and I've looked up uh, on Google what these paintings are actually called. They're based on real paintings that were done by a particular guy. I can't remember his name, but you can look that up on Wikipedia or um, just Google it, whatever. But all of these paintings in Minecraft have actual names. Um, there's a there's a like a 
second floor of the gallery here as well, which I'll just pop up and have a look. So that's your gallery. Most of what's in the castle, I've I've literally just made up as I've, as I've gone along. You know, I'd never had a, like a master plan for it. Ah, yes, the washroom. I re I did call this the throne room because um, it has thrones. Uh, I don't know um, if people in America get that, but uh, or other parts of the world, but in England, one of the slang words for toilet is a throne. You sit on the throne. So, <laughs> but no, no, this is the washroom. We've got toilets, um, shower, working shower. So I'll put a switch up there. And um, stick it in. Got stuck on something. There we go. Yeah. Um, switch up there. For the sticky piston that turns the shower on and off. Yep. So that's that. <clears throat> and I don't know if you can work out what these are, but I'll tell you. Um, whatever you think they look like, they're supposed to be hand dryers. They don't actually do anything. That's just like a quartz, uh, quartz step placed upside down. <laughs> Um, but that's supposed to look like hand dryers. So yep, that's the washroom. Oh yeah, and sinks, obviously. I've got item frames there with some bottles of water. That's just a... I don't know, just, I thought it looked a bit like a tap. But. Oh, and um, a couple of armour stands. So it's almost as if you come in here, you put your, your bathrobe on there and have a shower, that sort of thing. Alright, so I think that is actually the entire first floor. Um, there's a floor above this, which is on the roof, which we'll come to later. What I'm going to do is uh, this ladder down here, I'll explain that in a minute. Back down to the sweeping staircase in the foyer. I'll go back around to where that ladder leads. Again, as I said, we'll come back to the corner towers in a little while. Um, up this small staircase here takes you to a balcony area which um, gives you access to some of the rooms on the left and the right. But this ladder here leads back up to where we just were, where the, where the gallery is. So we'll come back down. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll finish um, showing you the ground floor. So we've got foyer here. There's an entrance to the back of the castle in the middle of the foyer. And as you just saw where we came from, an entrance to the right and to the left, which takes you through. Down there is something I'm working on, which I'll um, show you a bit later. So as you can see, you've got um, like um, access points from the foyer through to the back of the castle here. So firstly this is what I've just called the alchemy room because you've got your enchantment and then pretty, you know, pretty basic enchantment table set up with some storage and an anvil there um, and there's stairs up to where the potions uh, potions room is. I've got some mushrooms growing here and um, there's various potions that I've made. I've got a book a uh, guide to potion brewing. If you to pick it up and read it, it'll tell you how to make different potions. Uh, yeah, doorway through there. Uh, uh, that's out to the balcony that we were at a few moments ago. So coming back down to the enchanted room back out here. Uh, I'll go around the corner. You've got uh, oh yeah, this uh, is moat access, and you come out here. It's a sort of a quick side exit that monsters can't get in because there's like a wall and a moat all around the outside. Um, so that's the moat access. The moat runs around the, the entire, uh, entirely around the outside of the castle. So on the right here, there's no door here, but that's the uh, enchantment room that I was telling you about. The workshop, uh, we've got a, wa a water source that you can draw from. I've put uh, a, a lava pit in the middle, which you can't actually walk into. I've put some safety bars there, but I use that for disposing of items that I don't want to keep hold of. Storage for coal, clay, redstone, different things like that. Um, so that's the workshop. And upstairs, there's a, a mezzanine level above the workshop, which is where I just store general um, items and things that I've made. Uh, through here is back out onto the balcony. Remember the balcony where the ladders were? There's a ladder on this side as well that takes you up to the first floor. Uh, that's another one of the corner towers there. I'm going to go back down however um, rather than go through there I'll go back out to the the main corridor because it can get a bit disorientated when you've never been through the castle before this is the middle access from the foyer again and we have a lounge here I have a massive flat screen TV um, for a while it was just plain white wall for a screen with some lighting uh, to make it look like a lit up TV screen but I decided to put a map of the local area there so you've got something to look at so that was my best effort at creating um, like a flat screen TV and sofas made out of wool 
brown wool and uh, the old nether quartz slabs and a little bit of brown carpet on top to make the sofas look like they've got a back okay we won't dwell on that for too long through here is the kitchen but once again I'm going to go back out to the main corridor so uh, to try and prevent you, know, you guys getting disorientated back out to the corridor into the kitchen uh, table and chairs uh, work area I've got storage for milk uh, just like obviously get poisoned and grab some milk um, cooked food currently just got some jacket potatoes in there um, raw food uh, a couple of cookers um, you know the, just stuff to make it look a bit like a kitchen this is another one of those corner towels which we'll come to shortly another cooker sink with a tap sort of isn't really a tap but it kind of looks like one as as before there's there's the lounge again oh yeah a little balcony um, up there uh, forgot to mention uh, mezzanine storage for the kitchen oh yeah um, arts and crafts chest contains things like wool and dyes and leather and stuff like that you've got horticultural work in flowers um, you don't really need to see all this ingredients fruit and vegetables another one of the corner towers so I think uh, uh, let's have a look I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to pop back downstairs to the uh, to the foyer because in the middle there was that bit down in the basement that I was going to explain. I haven't actually finished work down here. This is under construction. It's Stargate Command. It's where my nether portal is going to go. I've got a nether, uh, temporary nether portal elsewhere, but this is where my nether portal is going to go. Uh, you come down here, you can go left or you can go right. Either way, it brings you round to the same place, which is Stargate Command. Uh, I don't know if you've, well you, you must have seen the Stargate TV show which was based on the movie I want to make this area down here look like Stargate Command with the nether portal in the distance so just pop down there as you can see when I get there it is unfinished, I need to cut away all this rock and um, have the staircases going down either side to where the nether portal is going to be so yeah, that's unfinished we'll get ourselves back up the up the staircase, get ourselves back up to where the foyer is. Right, uh, what's left? I think I've shown you everything on this floor. Oh, uh, apart from the fact that there's another um, moat mo access uh, on the other side of the castle, exactly the same, it's sort of symmetrical. Oh, yes, of course, um, I showed you the enchantment room over there with the potion room above it. This is the armory with the treasury above it. What I'm going to do, I'm getting hungry here, let's um, get some jacket potatoes and have a bit of a bit of a nom. Bear with. Yeah, okay, so uh, I'll just make a bit of a gap in my slots here. I'm going to grab the key. Same setup as um, the other room upstairs where the prison was. This is the armory. Um, I'm currently trying to get a full set of armour on each of these armour stands and the only one I haven't got is the chainmail one because obviously you can only get chainmail by <laughs> finding it in the world or getting it from monsters so I've got the, um, the helmet and the chest plate just need the boots and the trousers various other things stored in, in item frames around the walls and some storage over here for uh, things like TNT and gunpowder weapons and armour in there got um, sort of spare arrows um, yeah, stuff. Upstairs is the treasury where I keep my good stuff and the reason why I put um, metal doors and like lock and the key on these is to give it the impression that it's more valuable stuff that isn't to be touched but obviously anyone on this server can come in and nick it if they want but the guys I play with on this server they're, they're all friendly and no one there's absolutely no griefing whatsoever on this server so that is the entire ground floor, the basement and the first floor uh, the, just trying to think, yeah that is everything, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up one of these corner towers take it to the roof because we've got a few bits up there as well uh, so you just sort of basically keep going around and around and around this is up uh, above the foyer keep going up and around oh yeah I've put um, like bars on the, on the windows I didn't really need to tell you that, you can probably see that for yourself. <laughs> okay, keep going up and eventually we get to the roof. Each of the four towers in the corner uh, has a bit sort of further up where you can 
come up and look around at the, at the scenery and you can see I put a maze on the roof um, I thought for a while about what I should do with the roof and then I just sort of, sort of thought well, why don't I do a maze because it's something that's a bit fun so I'm going to go through the maze the idea is you work your way through the maze uh, eventually get into the middle and there are prizes in the middle for anybody who makes it to the middle and I'm, I know my way through so I'm just going to go straight through the maze and um, having said that it's been a while since I've done it but yeah I'm pretty sure I can make my way straight through the maze and um, find the middle might do a jump cut here possibly depends how long this takes and oh, that's a dead end might do a jump cut probably won't because I'm getting there fairly quickly it's just around the corner here now Yep, there's the middle with the uh, British flag, uh, the flag of England at the top. I put I put the flag of England up there because obviously I'm rich, Steve UK. I'm from the UK, I'm from England, so I thought yeah, I should do that. And you can uh, pick a prize. Um, you know, I put a few bits and bobs in here now and again. Nothing major. It's just a little bit of fun, really. Make your way up the middle. Uh, hang on, uh, got, got myself turn around there. Make, make your way up the middle tower. That's where the flag is and that's the highest point of the castle so this is castle, castle retro as, as it stands um, I will say um, I've seen much more impressive castles um, made in Minecraft on YouTube and places like that but this is my little effort I enjoyed making it I've been making it since February 2015 and it's currently no no it's December 2015 right now um, and I'm quite proud of this and I've enjoyed making it and really at the end of the day that's all that matters so uh, thank you for watching the video hope you've enjoyed having a little look around the castle and I'll see you again in another Minecraft video bye bye subscribe to Retro Steve UK you must mm?